This the the Daily Caller of all the you know hard right website that I have written for in the past. They're they're reporting on this white privilege conference in Louisville, Kentucky, and a speaker by the name of Leonard Zeskind. He says that his uh, area of expertise is the white nationalist movement. Uh, quoting from this uh, Daily Caller piece, he claimed to have begun paying attention to the Tea Party because he said white supremacists swelled the Tea Party ranks after Obama was sworn in as president in 2009. Zeskin said, all this business about government and constitutional is a smokescreen for, for, for what this is all really all about. It's this, I want my country back for me, and me meaning white people. We consider the Tea Party, he said, a post-Cold War nationalist group. They have an internal life around gun rallies and constitutional study groups. I don't think I have to convince you that they have sort of a generic racism. He said, he told the audience to many approving nods. He also used the terms bald-faced racists and screw losers to describe the Tea Party. He said Tea Party advocates mostly don't like President Barack Obama because Obama broke the white monopoly on the presidency. A woman asked him, what is like an African-American Tea Party member? Could there be one? And uh, he said, well, you know, maybe there's a Jewish member of the Ku Klux Klan, but... He's got a piece called Seven Steps to Stop the Tea Party. It's fascinating stuff. There was a woman who got up and spoke. She said, I teach at a very elite boarding school. The school is full of tea partiers who try to, you know, baptize political opponents. Another woman who, who said independent voters, which means tea party, the fourth woman said she attended his lecture because her in-laws get all their news from Fox. It's the 16th annual White Privilege Conference. This is fascinating stuff. What was happening?